Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Des Naomi, if you don't know, and today I'm going to give you guys an update on my deep conditioning treatment. So the last time I showed you guys my deep conditioning, it was during my full natural hair routine video. And what I was doing then was using a Shea Moisture, I think, store-bought product. And while I still love the Shea Moisture line, I found that my hair reacts just as well, if not better, with just natural coconut oil. So I've updated my routine to just using the coconut oil as a hot oil treatment for deep conditioning instead of using store-bought products. So I'm going to tell you guys, or show you guys, how I do that right now. So to start off, what you're going to want to do is have um, any kind of coconut oil that you want. It can be store brand, it can be brand named, it doesn't matter. Um, but you want to make sure that it's organic because that's going to be the best for your hair. So I have a Target brand um, organic coconut oil and I started by microwaving the whole um, jar of it for about a minute and 30 seconds um, just to get it hot and liquefied. And um, if you live in an actual house with a stove you can do it over the stove but I'm in a dorm room so I just had to use a microwave but that was the first step okay so second step is going to be applying the product by shingling so I'm gonna go ahead and start off by sectioning the hair and for this uh, for shingling in general you're gonna want to use super small sections so I have uh, two rubber bands um, on my hand I'm going to go ahead and put my hair into quarter sections but then I'm going to end up using smaller sections than that so this just saves time so I don't have to keep unwinding the hair tie and putting it back I just do it for one section at a time so I have a section that's about a quarter right now my hair has been shampooed conditioned and then rinsed out so there's nothing on it right now I'm going to take my oil hopefully it's not too hot I think I overdid mine a bit but pull out a tiny section from the section that you already have. It should be about this um, amount or smaller. I'm going to put the rest behind my ear so it's out the way. And I'm just going to dip my fingers in the hot oil. Make sure you test it before you do this. You do not want to burn your hand. And I'm just going to apply it to the hair. Now when you're doing this, it may seem like you're going to use a lot for each little tiny section, but actually when I used um, my old version of deep conditioning, I would take about a quarter of one of those tubs of deep conditioner and just dab it on each section of hair, and it wouldn't even equally apply to each part. Because So taking small sections and just making sure that you're getting every little strand is actually going to put your product to better use than the old version. So I'm just going to do this until I feel like this piece is saturated with oil and I'm just going to lightly finger detangle. And my hair is a little bit kinkier at the front so I'm going to add even more there. For the other sections near the back I wouldn't add this much. And once you have one section done, I'm just going to pull it over here and then do the rest. plastic cap and sit under a dryer for about 15 minutes on low heat and then I'll be done. 
So it's 30 minutes later and my hair is done. So my hair right now is super soft, but also super oily. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but my hands are soaked with oil. So, so most people rinse out their hair after they finish a deep treatment. I'm actually going to do a braid out and just let it soak in a little bit longer and then possibly wash it again in the morning if it's still oily. But easy peasy. It took about 45 minutes, 15 minutes to put the oil on and then 30 minutes to heat. And that's all you have to do for this heat treatment. So thank you for watching. If you liked it, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Uh, once you finish with the, or you can uh, jingling or apply the product by uh, okay, or rinse it. Uh, ah, that's it.